What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we're going to look at the dryer and we are also going to look at farming because farming goes hand in hand with the dryer and I'll explain that in this video. Now this is the first of many back to basics guides that I'm going to be doing over the next few months. The reason why I'm doing this is so much has changed in Conan Exiles over the years that there may be things that you don't know have changed and I want to show that to you in this series. So whether you're brand new to Conan Exiles or you're a veteran player, hopefully you find something in this video and this series that helps you out with your gameplay. And I'd like to give a big shout out to Kit for giving me the idea to start this series. Jumping right into it, and actually when I was testing this, this is something that's new to me. I did know that you could get dried fish, and that actually works with all three of the different types of dried fish. You could see, there you go, all the different fish will give you this dried fish. So, if you want dried fish, go ahead and do that. However, what I didn't know is that all the different meats, including the human flesh, will actually give you the dried meat. So, if you've got an excess of any of these meats lying around, it will give you the dried meat. Now, I want to know in the comments section below, did you know that you could load every different type of meat in there and actually get the dried meat? Now, neither one of these are going to be your best healers, but if you want something cheap that's just food for on the go, this is a great way to get it. And any of the meat, even some of the cooked stuff, will turn into dried meat when you put it in the dryer. And all of the fish, including the shellfish and the special buff fish, will turn into dried fish on the dryer. Let's talk about the other things that you can do with the dryer that's actually rather new. So if we load some of these different items in here, we're just going to... We're going to load a whole bunch in here. Go ahead, go in there, go in there, go in there. Basically, everything that is a plant, you can load in there. I've got not enough room. Come on, there we go. So anything that is a plant that actually has a seed, you can load in there. And as you can see, it's not going to show everything, but it will actually turn all of this into seeds. So what it requires, it's working on the leveling agent right now. If I stop this and cancel that, you can see that went back up to five. So it requires three of those items to make one seed. And this is where we're going to get into farming because one seed essentially makes five of the leaves. So if you take five aloe leaves and you plug them into here, you are only going to get one of the seeds back. However, that seed is going to produce five and you would still have two leaves left over from before. So essentially you can create sustainable farming if you're doing this on a regular basis. And I actually do this a lot with the aloe and the different lotuses because some of those lotuses, especially the gray lotus, are very hard to get the seeds. So after you get a few gray lotus and you run them through the dryer, create the seeds, run them through the planter, and vice versa, you continue to do that, you can amass quite a bit of any of these resources. And the dryer is located in your feet under Primitive Cook and it is unlocked at level 19. It is crafted in your personal inventory, and it costs 20 shaped wood and 10 twine. Now this is probably what you've normally done with your dryers. You've loaded bark in there and you've loaded wood in there. However, first I'm going to load branches in there and show you that this actually changes into dried wood. So for every five branches, it will produce one dry wood. Additionally, you can put your wood in there, and for every single wood, it will produce one dry wood. And as a byproduct, you do get the resin from drying the wood, so that is another good way to get resin. Now, I hope that you've learned something in this video. If you've got a question or a guide that you'd like to see me make, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. And if you want to continue the fun, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. Please don't forget to whack the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video.